Glen Ponce Server here at St. Pius X Parish Family. On behalf of all here at St. Pius X Church, I would like to welcome you today and invite you to join with us in prayer as we begin our Eucharist together. Today, we rejoice that the children of the community will join us at the altar of the Lord and receive the Lord Jesus in Holy Communion for the first time. This special day for them is a day of thanksgiving for all of us. Let us pray for each of them and their families during this Eucharist. The presiding celebrant today is Father Valentine, our pastor. We kindly ask that no pictures be taken or video cameras used during the Mass and procession today. Your cooperation with this request is appreciated. Pictures can be taken following the ceremony. I repeat once again, no pictures should be taken or video cameras used during the Mass and procession today. If you haven't done so already, please silence all cell phones and electronic devices at this time. Please remain seated during the entire liturgy of the First Holy Communion service. Please join us in singing the entrance hymn, All Are Welcome, as we greet our First Communicant and the Minister of the Eucharist, Father Valentine. Chicken nugget, am I right? No. no, what they give you? Salad? No. Pasta? No. Steak? Wow. This costs a lot of money. But today, first party is receiving Jesus into your life. Am I right? And that's the reason. This part is important than whatever you're going to have it. Whenever you're going to La Familia, Avaron. Which place you're going? 
steakhouse? Wow, your daddy must have a lot of money, I think. <laughs> Can I talk to your dad? So no matter where you go, you're going to have party. But this party is very important. This party is important. Am I right? Yes or no? Yes, yes or no? Which part is important? The Eucharist. So you all are welcome to the Lord's table. As Karen said beautifully, all are welcome to the Lord's table. Beautiful table. And you don't pay for it. It's a free. It's a free. Every Sunday we have the parties and you're called and it is free. Am I right? So are you excited? So let us celebrate our party by starting. Everybody, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What do we say? Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Again, amen. No. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. All right, that's good. You don't remember we have, how many sacraments we have? No. Five plus two. How many? Seven. Seven sacraments. And you receive your second sacrament in December. Am I right? In December, you receive sacrament. You came to the priest and you told them what? Con your sins. What is called sacrament? It's called the sacrament now? Reconciliation. Am I right? Yes. Sacrament reconciliation. You did. You ask priest forgiveness. But today you start your party today. You need to ask God's forgiveness. You need to ask forgiveness of your mom and dad. Ask your siblings, your teachers, your friends. Sometimes we all make a mistakes. We are all being mean. Don't listen to mommy and daddy. Too much watching television. Not paying attention to Zoom class or in the class. Some of you are fighting with our siblings, yelling at them. We do all things. We don't do homework. And we don't eat our broccoli. Am I right? You like broccoli? Yes. No. No, it's still too little. All right. You don't like it? It's good, healthy. I love it. You love rap, it's good. Keep it in, okay? So that's what we do. So today we seek God's pardon and forgiveness. Am I right? Before we have this man. And so we say, Lord have mercy, everybody. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. And Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Since God has forgiven us, so God has been so good to us, let us praise our God as we say Gloria.
this day to celebrate the fourth reception of the Eucharist of our beloved children in this parish of St. Pius X. We give you thanks for the blessings you have bestowed upon them. And we ask that as they receive your son Jesus in this sacrament for the very first time, may they come to know the love and care that you have for them. We make this prayer to Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Our readers for the first and second readings, Juliana D. Bartolo and Alexander Valencia, are asked to come forward at this time. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The followers of Jesus spent their time learning from the Apostles, and they were like family to each other. They also broke bread and prayed together. Everyone was amazed at the many miracles and wonders that the Apostles worked. All the Lord's followers often met together, and they shared everything they had. They would sell their property and possessions, and give the money to whoever needed it. Day and day, they met together in the temple. They broke bread together in different homes and shared their food happily and freely. While praising God, everyone liked them. And each day, the Lord added to their group others who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Lord. Thank you, God. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, when we drink from the cup that we ask God's bread, isn't that sharing the blood of Christ? When we eat the bread that we break, isn't that sharing the body of Christ? By sharing the same of the bread, we become one body, even though there are many. The word of the Lord.
boys and girls. This is a nice scripture passage. It's a very special passage for you. And that's where Jesus talks to you. While the disciples were eating with Jesus at the Last Supper, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to the disciples and said, what he said? Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup. After giving thanks, he gave it to them saying, what he said? Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink this fruit of the wine until that day when I drink it no with you in my Father's kingdom. Boys and girls and you, my parish family, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask the boys and girls to please rise. Boys and girls, please rise. Stand. You look, all look so fabulous. Your dresses are so beautiful. Your suit is very nice. You must spend a lot of money. How much you paid for that dress? Suit. Where did you buy from? Macy's? Brooks Brothers? I like the Brooks Brothers. You look nice, handsome, am I right? So listen, when I when I received my first Holy Communion, hello, when I received my first Holy Communion, how I went? I went in my short pants. Any grandfather remembers? Yeah, they remember. I went in short pants. And a short and short sleeve shirt. That's all I had. No tie, nothing. And I had sleepers, flip flops. We were poor. But yes, I was really poor. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, my husband. So anyway, this is how I receive communion. When I receive my communion, you have you guys are going to have party. You have party. Where's the party? No idea. You have party? Where? Where? So nobody's inviting you to party. What's wrong with you guys? You should invite first the priest. He's always hungry. Where's your party? Your backyard. Is a big backyard you have? I can come. Are you sure? So when I come, there's a deal. You get the half, so you have to get gifts, you have to share with me. Okay? You get the half and I get the half. Deal? <laughs> no deal. It's alright. Anyway, so anyway, you guys look so great, wonderful. But the important thing, you are here to receive your personal communion. Am I right? So now, tell me, Valentina? No, sorry, what's your name? Huh? Valentina, right. When you had the first time the chicken nugget at McDonald's, did you invite your family and friends? No, why not? So think, hey, Valentina is going to, going to have first time the chicken nugget. Come everybody and let's have a party. Did you have a party? No. What's your name? Gabriela. Gabriela. When you're having the first time the Coke, soda, Sprite, what do you like? I am eating fruit salad. That's good, don't drink, that's a very bad stuff. <laughs> what about you? You drink? No? What about you? Sometimes what do you drink? Coca-Cola. Coca -Cola. So when you had the first time Coca-Cola, did your family invite you? No? No. Why could you dress up so well? Why are you dressed up so well today? Why? You invited your family and friends. Everybody yeah, dressed up so well. Nice suit and nice dresses. They look nice. Why? Why do you need a special thing? Because we are going to make our first Holy Communion. That's a great answer. Give the rounds of applause. Wonderful. Great job. All right. Because you are going to make our first Holy Communion, this is very important. It's not important if you slice a pizza for the first time, you're going to chicken nuggets, you're going to soda, you're going to have a glass of milk, nothing. But today you're going to receive communion. It's the most important day in your life. All right, everybody come. Come on, guys. Come here. All right. Now, this is the place, as you said, you have the seven sacraments, and this is where you were baptized. Am I right? 
You remember who was baptized here in the church? You were baptized? Who baptized you? Me? Me. What about you guys? You were not baptized? No. I was baptized. Where? You were never baptized? I was not baptized. Where the parents? <laughs> she was never baptized. What's the matter with you? Oh, Yonkers. Yonkers is not Catholic. No, I'm just kidding. And you? Where she was baptized? Over here? Oh, okay. And you? Already at Mercy. Okay, that's Catholic Church, am I? Okay, fine. Good. We can take you here. All right. What about you? You don't know. With the parents? Over here, who baptized? Me? You are that old? No. Anyway, this was your first sacrament. This is where you receive your baptism, guys. There is a baptism. Alright? It's very important. You are baptized. I remember two of you baptizing. You were baptized here? No. Oh, oh, I baptized her? Yeah. Oh. Your sister too? Guys, what about you? You don't know. We'll talk about it later. Okay, fine. And then we just talk about it. Your second sacrament, sacrament of reconciliation and today is your first third sacrament sacrament of communion so everybody come here i have a banner over here come right in front of the banner come on everybody come on guys come on yeah i think it's in italian that line is it italian in english uh, it's in oh it's in english or italian English, I'm sorry about it. I thought it's Italian. What is written down there? This, this is my body. This, this is my blood. Who said that? God. Jesus. God, Jesus, he told. Right? When Jesus tells you, you need to believe. Yes or no? Yes. When people were blind, people were sick, there was a young girl died, and Jesus said, Taliba, wake up. You hold her hands. And she got up. There was a blind man, he touched his eyes and he could see. There were two people, there were 5,000 people and they did not have bread and fish. So Jesus, somebody gave like a Valentina, gave two bread to Jesus and two fishes. Five bread and two fish. And he gave, he blessed it. And how many people ate? 5,000 people ate. 5,000 people ate. So Jesus does the miracle. When he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the bread of life. That means Jesus is the bread of life. And this is all you're celebrating. This is my body. This is my blood. So when you come on the altar, I'm going to take the cup of wine. And I'm going to take the bread. When I say, this is my body, which will be given up for you. When I raise it, and we believe that become the body of Christ. When I'm going to give the Eucharist to you, I'm going to say, the body of Christ, what are you going to say? Amen. What are you going to say? Amen. What's the meaning of amen? I believe. Wow, you all know. What I believe, what do you believe? That this is? The body of Christ. This is the body of Christ. Exactly. It's so wonderful. Let's come that side. Okay. Now, what's written down over here?
anyway, this is what about it. Okay, the community of receiving, am I right? Remembrance. Parents, do you remember? Every Sunday we have the Mass here. Do you remember? We have the six Masses on weekend. On Saturdays we have 345. It's called the Early Bird Special. <laughs> and then we have 515. Then in the Sunday morning at 7 o'clock, so you can come, quit Mass, and go for fishing. Then 8.30, 10.30, and 12. So what we do? We remember it. Remembering Jesus. So tomorrow is the Sunday. That's when you need to come to church. Are you coming tomorrow? Yeah. You are coming? You like to receive a second communion? Yeah. 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 What's wrong with you? <laughs> you need to come back tomorrow again. I'll wait for you. <laughs> Special Sunday, huh? We do. First communion, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and eight. Actually, sister, how many times have you seen communion? 102 times you did. Yes. Olivia. But anyway, if you, if you do this Sunday, come next Sunday, okay? Come next Sunday. Make sure that you can come with your parents next Sunday. I can, I can forgive you this time, alright? But next Sunday, you must come with your mom and dad. Am I right, mom and dad? Yes. Mom and dad, yes? yes. That's your responsibility. This is responsible to, to share your faith. It's very important. They need to come to church. That's what they understand. Sometimes our masks are very boring. Because once a year we go, twice a year we go, and we don't understand. But every time you come, the kids learn. They learn. Every time I bring the 10, 30 minutes, children up to the altar, they love it. They love it. They come down there. Sometimes, uh, you know, they don't behave properly, but that's fine with me. Because I love that. Because I want them to love Jesus. That's very important. So make sure that remembers the Lord, remember the Lord's day, the holy day, the Sabbath day. That's the first commandment. Keep the Lord's day holy, second commandment. Keep the Lord's day holy. That's what it is. Do this in remembrance of me. So what he does? Lord break the bread for us. Isn't it? That is the first reading. The early Christian community came. Every Sunday they came. Not they only came, they brought the concern of the people. There were some people who were hungry, poor. They could not afford to pray the bread. So they brought for them. They want the money, and that's what they have for each other. That's what the community was like. One mind and one heart. They were like this. And this is our community should be. And the same by the same community should be welcoming, loving, caring, and be concerned for one another. That's all matters. And that's the community we want to form here at St. by the Ten. Isn't it? The children did such a wonderful job. They did so well. Look at that girl. She did so well that the boy was so wonderful. Both of them did a wonderful job, Juliana and Alexander. You did so well. This is all about it. This is a platform for you to be a future leader. You have no fear. Absolutely, you have no fear. Both of you did without any fear. Now, I want you to be junior lecturer. It's a deal? Yes. It's a deal? Yes or no? All right. Done. So this is all about it. Today is a very happy day, very special day, and we are really proud of you. And uh, now we're going to have the Eucharist. Okay, we'll start. Okay, go back. Sit down. Our readers for the prayer of the faithful: Valentina Wong, Daniela Deluca. Stefania Lamandola and Lucia Mangenaro are asked to come forward at this time. With faith in the abiding presence of God in our lives, we come before Jesus with our prayers and needs. After every prayer, let our response be, when the children raise their hands, your response is going to be, Bread of life, hear our prayer. Please repeat, Bread of life, hear our prayer. For our church leaders, Pope Francis, Bishop John, Father Valentine, Father Chuck, Deacon John, Gail Gummer, ministers that they may lead us closer to Jesus, who is the Lord. 
Spread of life, spread of life. In thanksgiving for Jesus coming to us today in the Eucharist, we pray for the Lord. Spread of life, spread of life. That together as a parish family, we may grow in our love for Jesus in the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Pray to For our parents and catechists, sorry, hall monitors and teachers, who by sharing their faith in Jesus have brought us to this day. We pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord.
it's wine to offer, which is the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the spiritual bread and drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, who has entered this country from all my age. My dear parish family, pray, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, your mighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice to him for the praise and glory of his name, for the good of God, God church. Loving Father, accept the simple gifts of bread and wine. May they become for us the body and blood of Jesus, your Son. Prepare our heart this day to receive Him. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. God, our loving Father, we are glad to give you thanks and praise because you love us. Because you love us, you give us this great and beautiful world. Because you love us, you send your son Jesus to bring us to you and to gather us around him as the children of the one family. For such a great love, we thank you with the angels and the saints as they praise you and sing. Blessed be Jesus, whom you say to be the friend of the children and the poor and the sick and the lonely. He came to show us how can we love you, Father, by loving one another. He came to take away sin, which keeps us from being friends, and hate, which makes us all unhappy. He promised to send the Holy Spirit to be with us always so that we can live as the true, loving, compassionate, caring, forgiving children. So good God, we ask you this afternoon, send forth your Holy Spirit upon these gifts of bread and wine that will be firm for us, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The night before he died for us, Jesus, your son, showed us how much you love us. When he was at supper with his friends, Jesus took bread, gave me thanks and praise. He broke the bread and gave it to his friends and said, take these, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, Jesus took the cup that was filled with wine. He thanked you and gave it to his friends and said, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
and so loving God, remember that Jesus died and rose again to save the world. He put himself into your hands to be the sacrifice we offer you. Lord our God, listen to your prayers. Send the Holy Spirit upon this. Send the Holy Spirit to all of us who share in this meal. May this Spirit bring us closer together in the family of the church with Francis, our beloved Pope John, our bishop, all the other bishops, priests, and religious deacons, and all those who minister to holy people. Remember, Father, our families and our friends, and especially all those who are gathered here. I pray for each one of them. And today I pray in a very special way for our children, Isabella, Juliana, Daniela, Devania, Cassandra, Lucia, Gabriella, Kathleen, Alexander, Valentina. Did I miss anyone? And all those we do not love as we should. Remember all those who have died. Remember all those who have died into our families, into our parish. Especially those who have died from coronavirus. Bring them home to you to be with you forever. Get us all together to kingdom. Then we shall be happy forever with the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Lady of Peace. Saint Joseph, a mocha spouse, Saint Pius XI, Peter, Saint St. Agnes, Father Pio, Saint Teresa of Calcutta, Saint Francis, and all the friends of Jesus the Lord will sing a song of joy. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever. Amen. So let us sit together, the Lord's praise together. Say, Our Father, Our Father, Thy kingdom, 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 Thy that by the help of your mercy, we may always free from sin and save from all disgrace and deliver the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of you is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, the apostle, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. But graciously grant of peace and unity of your kingdom. We we'll live forever and ever. Boys and girls, and you, my dear parish family, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. I'd like so the boys and girls go quietly, watch your step, and go and give the peace to Look down. Okay, look down. Look down. Go to your family. Savior. 
As a reminder today, that is the bread of life. All those who eat will have eternal life. And blessed indeed you are for the first time to receive the Lord into your heart. And now, prayerfully, we all can say together, Lord, I am not worthy that you enter my room. For only said the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting. So children receiving the Eucharist for the first time today will receive communion first along with their parents and siblings. Following their reception, remaining family members and friends are invited to come forward. Please follow the directions of the ushers. All are invited in singing our communion hymn, One Bread, One Body, We Remember, as well as I Am the Bread of Life.
because there was no TV time of Jesus. But that is a good thing he had. But he went to synagogue, he went to temple and he prayed. And that's all about it. And I could see the joy is popping out on your, from your heart. On your face I can see. So let us sing the song. It's called, I got the joy, joy, joy. Okay, everybody should say loudly, okay? Ready, okay? Karen, you are ready? I want to thank our leaders today, 
You guys, fabulous. Whether you did the word of God or whether you did the breath of faith, you did an excellent job. I'm very proud of you. So, round of applause once again to our students. Our liturgies are always made more beautiful by a leader of songs and him led by Karen Akaki. That's a beautiful voice we have. So, Karen, thank you. And of course, the very special, special person we have, Bobby Pena, is to run now. He has to go to the upset New York. He wants me to finish this match as quickly as possible because his family that lives upstairs, if they have some family get together, but yet he made a sacrifice to be here to take the special moments, the pictures, special moments, so he can capture it in his, in a, in a, in his a camera. And this Bobby Pena always comes here and gives his time. Anytime I ask him, he's over there. Every Saturday, 345 minutes comes and record the man, and that's how we transmit our prayers to all the parishioners. So I want to thank in a very special Bhakti Pinya and his wife Josephine. <laughs> Good And thanks to our server, Sacristan and the MC, Michaela Sadida. I think she did a good job. She did not make great, but amazing work. And our usher, Yoda Dressler, Virginia with the man, Barbara Brown, Sarah Sadita, Liz Buchanan, and also Charles jo jo Justin. Justin, am I right? Sorry. And last time, thanks. The person whose enthusiastic spirit guides and directs our religious education program and for all that she did to make today such a splendid and beautiful day. Thank you, Gail Gopal. She's there right over there. <laughs> Actually, Gail grew up in this parish, but later on she married and she moved out to the to different parishes. She was in a St. Ignatius, from there she went to St. Paul, from St. Paul she came, last night, and finally she's now holy name of Jesus in Woodbury. So, but she was a teacher at uh, uh, Mercy uh, School, which is closed last year, and we are so lucky to have her here. She has a rich experience in the school, and uh, when you talk about religion, excellent. She sometimes looks like tough, but she's not tough, she looks such a loving, because she wants to give to the families and to children, she wants to help them out. And we are so fortunate to have her. So I'm very grateful because she has taken a lot of my Lord away from my place. So she has made my life much more easier this year. So I want to thank Gail very specially. So please give a big round of applause. <laughs> and now we will have our final prayer. Please rise. Let us pray. God of love, we have gathered this day at the altar to celebrate the gift of Jesus' presence in the Eucharist. Our children thank you especially for receiving Jesus, your son. For the first time in the Holy Communion, we pray that the children in each of us may now go forth from this gathering of your people, filled with desire to share the gifts you have given us. We are this prayer to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of Jesus be upon you and your family, especially our children who receive the Holy for the Eucharist, on our world, and also our church, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now go in peace to love God, love others, make disciples, and restore all things in Christ. Amen. Thanks be to God. Due to the pandemic, we will be staying in the church, and those who wish to take a photograph here in the church may do so following the final hymn. We ask you to line up in the middle aisle and have your family and photographer with you. Please join us in singing the recessional hymn, The City of God. <laughs> 